Mm, Joe Biden is taking a decidingly pro-China approach to his 2020 presidential bid. It's a political play that is dangerous for him and rhetoric that certainly could be dangerous for our country. He doubled down on his pro-China rhetoric today, going a little more general in his reference there to Asia. Watch. Our workers are literally three times as productive as workers in the Far East, I mean, in, 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 excuse me, in Asia. And they're, they're three times as productive. And so what are we, what are we worried about? Hmm. What are we worried about? <laughs> well, keep in mind it comes on the heels of his recent comments made in Iowa. Watch. China is going to eat our lunch? Come on, man. They can't even figure out how to deal with the, 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 the fact that they have this great division between the China Sea and the mountains in the east, I mean, in the west. They can't figure out how they're going to deal with the corruption that exists within the system. I mean, I, you know, they're not bad folks, folks, but guess what? They're not a they're, they're not, they're competition for us. All right. Uh, to make statements like that one and the one you just heard in New Hampshire, Berlin, New Hampshire, it's clear that Joe Biden is either massively naive or deliberately trying to be provocative, trying to uh, set himself apart. I get a bit of advice from Mr. Biden. You know, that kind of talk isn't going to fly in Berlin, New Hampshire, where he was today. I grew up in the live free or die state. And Berlin is a, a former manufacturing town, logging paper mills that is now a shadow of its former self. Thanks in part to too many presidents and too many administrations that thought, uh, well, a little like Joe Biden. So while Biden's out there trying to infer that China isn't a threat, China's working on its Made in China 2025 push, its attempt at controlling the robotics, the aerospace, and the technology industries. It's violating the human rights of its Muslim population by putting Muslims in concentration camps. And it's adopting an Orwellian-like surveillance system to spy on and to rank the social standing of its citizens. It fails to respect intellectual property rights. And it has lost repeated cases at the WTO for this and forces American tech companies to just hand over their technology when attempting to access China's markets. In addition, China has not one, but two World Banks, all of its own. The banks employ hugely aggressive lending practices to poor countries all across the globe in a kind of a loan shark style, really causing these nations to become indebted to China. So while China tries to explain that it's still deserving of a developing nation status and can borrow money from the World Bank, you know, I would just ask, would the World Bank still be lending to Paraguay if it had a couple of World Banks in its back pocket? To add insult to injury, you know, Joe Biden actually is choosing to ignore the China threat today, June 4th.